What did I learn from my philosophy major? It took me 10 years to do the philosophy major because it was really hard. I had to learn so much at once and everything was interconnected. So I didn't understand other things until I learned I had to learn a lot of different things to see the bigger picture. So it was really trialing for me to do well in, but by the end of it, I was doing really well in it because I began to see the bigger picture. But this video, is dedicated to exploring um, what I learned in my philosophy major because it obviously didn't help me career-wise. So how did it help me? First, I want to talk about some of the more superficial things that I learned, which is lots and lots and lots of philosophers and different ways to understand the world through the lens of different people who lived under culturally relevant times and were perceiving the world through the lens in which their worldview could comprehend. Whereas now we're much more interconnected and ideas of many different types fly all around the world. Uh, before, it was much more exclusive to indulge in the intellectual arts and uh, philosophy um, attracted many unique individuals uh, who struggled with their own um, battles and tried to understand their place in the world and the nature of the world and how what me what meaning we can find in the world and what meaning means and there's just a lot of different philosophers throughout time that built upon each other's ideas. So um, you get this stream of classical philosophy and then you get more modern philosophies arising. And now you just get a big jumble of ideas of people on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, whereas before creating um, something, some type of documentation that could stand the test of time um, required a significant amount of funds so you had to be pretty wealthy to um, to store and distribute information. So it was sort of exclusive to um, the higher class. Uh, this isn't always the case. We get examples like Diogenes who lived on the streets, but for the most part, uh, philosophy 
was a muse for the elite. And as time went on, as documenting information became cheaper and cheaper, and as the facilities for people to document information became more readily available to the public than individual people who weren't a part of the social elite could document their thoughts in a way that can be received by the public. So now we get lots of different types of stars. We don't only have Hollywood stars. We also have YouTube stars. And, um, and they're doing a variety of different things. But back to philosophy and what I learned was that the more substantial aspect of what I learned is that we don't really know anything. And I know Socrates said this to begin with, um, but we're all just struggling with our own internal makeup. And, uh, and each person has to deal with the consequences of their own actions. And uh, ultimately, no one knows anything. So there's not someone that's better than another person. We all live lives individually unique aspects so in philosophy I, I learned that a lot of people disconnect emotions from their intellectual faculties so it's really hard to talk philosophy with someone when you have an emotional drive um, that's handling the conversation. So, um, I don't respect my philosophy professors. because they disconnected their emotions from the intellectual information that they were teaching. And that didn't feel right at all for me. So, although my professors taught me a lot, I didn't respect their mode of working. I guess everyone does it though. They separate their work life and their personal life. It's just different. I don't have a work life. I only have a personal life. So it's like the people that are doing this are not authentic in their actions. And it just bugs me when they separate their, their professional and personal life. I learned that a lot of philosophers just say crap in an intellectual way. And they have these out there theories that are very complicated to understand that 
offer no benefit to the human species. Philosophy taught me that living life is an accomplishment in and of itself because living life isn't very easy and we have to work through our problems and sometimes that can be really difficult and philosophy grounded me upon solid foundations to be able to think clearly about the best way to work through my problems. And I guess that's why I took the philosophy major, which was to, um, I forgot what I was saying, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do that a lot. I forget what I'm saying. I'm just talking and then I forget what I was saying and then I trail off or I change the topic or whatever, but that's just the way my mind works. Um, most of the time, what I'm saying is intentional and then sometimes I trail off, but that doesn't happen often. That's why I took the philosophy degree to work through my own problems. And I had a lot of problems to deal with. And now I don't have any problems to deal with. So it took me a long time to get the right frame of mind to be able to tackle my problems and put them to rest once and for all. I learned what was important in life because I was working on all of these things that weren't important, but society said they were important, so I thought that they were important and I was struggling to become what society thought I should become. So the philosophy degree really helped me learn to prioritize what is important in living a life. And that was really cool because I had to reassess all of my values and then decide what was of benefit and what was no longer of benefit. And then if it didn't benefit me, then I had to either fix it or drop it or, you know, remove it from my life or however I chose to resolve the issue. Um, but it taught me what was important, like what to focus on, what to put my energy in. And ultimately, that turned out to be videos. And I like thinking that I'm contributing to my social world by making videos. And I like to think that's how I'm a contributing member of society, by making videos. And that's my role in society. And I don't have a job like a normal person. Um, but I don't need that to live a fulfilling life. And that was something I learned that wasn't important ultimately. If you can learn how to get by without a job, then, then you should do it. That's what I learned, at least for myself personally. I guess ultimately a philosophy degree teaches you that you know nothing. And I know that people can just read the quote of Socrates and realize that they know nothing, but just hearing the quote and actually understanding it from the fabric of your soul is a lot different. Understanding that you know nothing really humbles you as a person and also learning that you're insignificant in the scheme of things, 
Um, you're not really a special person. Um, I mean, you might be a unique snowflake, um, but ultimately there's lots and lots of unique snowflakes and um, and ultimately what is it that you provide to the world um, I'm providing videos other people are doctors nurses educators um, some people do nothing but who am I to judge um, people have to make up their own minds about how they're going to live life, their life and uh, maybe I can influence someone a little bit but ultimately it's their decision so who am I to say that someone's not living a respectable life and that's what you learn in philosophy or that's what I learned in philosophy is that um, that I'm no better than any anyone else and in some cases I might be more intelligent but other cases I'm dumber so in the end it all works out the same anyway I learned that man has this really weird drive to try and find meaning in, in everything and trying to figure out how everything works is a part of our human nature and meaning is only found in human nature and humans create meaning meaning isn't inherent in the earth so why do humans have this significant drive to find meaning in their lives when at the end of the day everything is meaningless and there is no meaning I didn't learn this through the content, but I learned this through the process. And that is that each person is responsible for how they spend their time. So each person is required to entertain themselves and not be a bother to anyone else. And that's a human responsibility that we have that most of us do pretty okay with. Um, but sometimes when you get really bored and lonely and you have nothing to do, it can be difficult to exist because you're not having fun that's a lot of the reasons why i make videos so i can do something with my time and have fun um so i choose to spend my time thinking about videos to make and making videos and um and that's how i chose to spend my time because it's my requirement to entertain myself. I shouldn't um, make it anybody else's responsibility to entertain me. Um, I should be able to do that myself. And you see a lot of people that have problems with that, um, always needing other people to be entertained. Um, but it took me a while to learn how to entertain myself and I'm not perfect at it sometimes I still struggle with it um, but it's something I'm always working on and ultimately I want comments um, so I can talk to people that would be really awesome because that would be 
how I want to spend my time talking about the subjects that are most important to me with other people. And the best way that I know how to do that is through YouTube. Philosophy taught me how to articulate my expressions in a very unique way. Philosophy taught me how to open up my life and share it with other people. Because before I did philosophy, I didn't make videos. So philosophy was something that taught me how to open up my range of expressions to the greater public. Philosophy taught me how to think clearly and not initially act upon my emotions, contemplate my emotions instead of just reacting without considering all of the reasons why that could be happening. If you're thinking about doing a philosophy degree, then I highly recommend it. It'll teach you things that other degrees just won't even touch on. So, it's something that is more than money because you won't make money getting a philosophy degree, but it's more valuable than money. The information in which they convey um, changes the way you live life. So I highly recommend that you get a philosophy degree if you're thinking about doing that if that's how you stumbled upon this video, because there's just so many things that a philosophy degree can teach you about life that even a sociology degree can't even touch on. So, highly recommended. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. I get bored. Thanks.